When we want to access I.O. pins on the processor, while well, we're executing in another region of the chip, we have to use a interprocessor communications mechanism, which the low-level libraries are called Snorkel and Ganglia. But while we're using Polyforth, we hide most of the details of the low-level libraries. The word that we use to set up a path from one processor to a remote processor is called ND. It's a defining word that takes the name of a path that we're going to define and it takes three directions and three counts of steps which are then um, combined into one 18-bit path de definition which the snorkel and ganglia routines then use in order to send a message and retrieve a message over that path. So, for example, while we're running Polyforth, we're executing in this region of the chip using processors in this area. One of the processors, processor 108, is where a message passing interface is executing. So while we're starting to send a message, we always start at this location node 108 and we count the nodes between where we are and where our destination is. So in this example we have the master in slave out line on our SPI interface. It's going to be connected to node 517. So when we start counting we start with 0 and it's 0, 1, 2, 3. So we're taking three steps in the up direction and then we're taking eight steps in the right direction and there's no third set of steps. We have zero, zero as a terminator. Some paths will have another set of steps at the end and then path comma combines the, uh, the three sets of steps into one 18-bit path definition that's used by master in slave out. Then, if we would like to access one of the addresses within node 517, we activate the path by executing master in slave out, and then we can use the words remote fetch and remote store to access a address within that node.